Welcome to St. Michael's Lenten podcast series. My name is Father Michael Harmouth, and I will be leading our meditation today, which includes prayers, a scripture reading, and a reflection on the reading. May you be strengthened for the Lenten journey. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, wordily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The reading today is from the book of Amos. Amos was a shepherd herder in the northern kingdom of Israel. He foretold its destruction. Seek the Lord and live, or he will sweep through the tribes of Joseph like a fire. It will devour them, and Bethel will have no one to quench it. The days are coming, declares the Sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine to the land, not a famine of food or a thirst for water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. People will stagger from sea to sea and wander from north to east, searching for the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. The word of the Lord. The first day of Lent is called Ash Wednesday. It is the first weekday of 40 days before Easter. Sundays are days of resurrection and are not counted as a day of Lent. The imposition of ashes on Ash Wednesday is an ancient biblical sign of our need of repentance because our spirit is wounded and needs help from a Savior. The cause of our wounded spirit is explained by Amos the prophet, who tells us that we live in famine, not of bread or water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Lent means springtime a time when nature renews itself. It reminds us it is a time for us to renew ourselves. Lent is a family time. I suggest you buy a pretzel and show your children. A pretzel is an ancient bakery item used to be eaten only during Lent. It goes back to the 5th century. Its shape is made in the form of two arms crossed in prayer a symbol of repentance which means change. Lent is a journey on the road of change, and as a family you can practice change that you all can do together. A story is told about the student who came to take leave of his teacher. When he entered the presence of his teacher, he asked for something to carry away with him. The teacher said, Ponder, these things. It is not the fire that is hot, but you who feel it. It is not the eyes that see, but you who look. It is not the compass that makes the circle, but the draftsman. The teacher reminds us that we are responsible for our actions. Amos the prophet told our past brothers and sisters that God will send a famine, not of bread or water, but a famine of neglecting to listen to God's word. This Lent, make a change and listen to the words of God and live. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.